Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. I am Pat from Pat's Path Predictor and in this video we're going to be talking about a potential severe weather outbreak that's going to be occurring uh, next week. So let's go ahead and get right into it right now. Alright, so what we are looking at here is essentially a 15% risk on the day 4 outlook which, which is going to be Monday uh, for the Southern Plains as well as parts of Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Norman, o uh, Oklahoma, uh, rather in Kansas. Including the cities of Norman, as I just said, Springfield, Dallas, Waco, uh, Jefferson City. That 15% risk is right here. The Day 5 outlook has a much larger area in the Great Plains, as well as in parts of the Midwest, including still further into Texas, into Louisiana, most of Arkansas, most of eastern Oklahoma, parts of eastern Kansas, and most of the state of Missouri, including uh, the Kansas City now, Shreveport, Waco, Austin, as well as all the cities uh, above, including Little Rock and Oklahoma City and Tulsa. So that's what's going on on day five. Day six, however, things shift a little more to the east. So this is the situation right here. St. Louis is now in the 15% out, uh, outlook right here, including other areas in parts of Illinois, Kentucky, Jackson, uh, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, um, most of Mississippi, most of Louisiana, all of Arkansas, all of Missouri, most of eastern Kansas, most of eastern Oklahoma, parts of Nebraska and Iowa now, not to mention uh, still another day, th another 15% risk in Dallas. So, yeah, that's essentially what's going on. So let's go ahead and read what's going on. Discussion. A multi-day severe weather event appears likely across the central co uh, con U.S. from day 4 through day 6, which is Monday through Wednesday. Large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes appear possible e all appear possible each day. Day 4, Monday, the South Plains and the Ozarks. An upper trough should amplify over the western con U.S. on day 1, which is Monday. There seems to be some uncertainty regarding the amplitude and placement of the leading shortwave trough over the upper Midwest vicinity Monday morning. Some convection aided uh, by the strong level warm advection may also be ongoing Monday morning over parts of Missouri. This activity could impact the north, uh, northward extent of the low-level moisture and return across the South Plains in the Ozarks uh, through the day. Even with this lingering uncertainties, at least a little of isolated th severe thunderstorm should develop by Monday afternoon along the east of, of a surface dry line, which should extend across eastern and central Oklahoma, Texas at a modest ascent preceding the upper trough over spreads the warm sector. Moderate to strong instability and steep mid-level lapse rates combined with adequate deep layer shear suggest a threat for large hail as with any supercells that can develop. Damaging winds may also occur. Given the gradual increasing of the low-level moisture and strengthening of the low-level jet Monday evening, some threat for tornado should also exist as convection spreads eastward. So, that's basically, we don't have, basically, I would talk more about this, but we don't really have enough information yet. Uh, we we only we don't have a, a slight or enhanced risk yet. This is four days out, which is Monday. So we don't really have that much information going on. What we do know is the location of this, as well as the generic threat, which is going to be all around, essentially. So this is the day five we're looking at right here. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The large-scale upper trough centered in the western states on day five, Tuesday, is forecast to amplify as it ejects eastward across the Rockies and adjacent to the High Plains Tuesday night. There are still large differences between the various de uh, de uh, detrimentic models regarding the placement and amplitude of the, this ejecting uh, trough. Ensemble uh, mean uh, the slower, rather, mean, more amplified solution suggested by the Euro and its ensemble mean uh, would suggest the primary surface Lee Cyclone may focus across the central high plains through Tuesday evening, with a dry line extending southward across the su southern plains. The faster and more northern placement th of the upper trough by the GFS would argue for a more northward warm sector development and further east, uh, a further east surface low placement across central plains into the mid-Missouri Valley. Regardless of these differences, several severe thunderstorms will likely develop by Tuesday afternoon along the much of the length of the dry line across the southern and central plains. The premise of steep uh, lapse rates al uh, aloft and uh, general uh, heating of the moist uh, low-level air mass and gradual strengthening uh, deep-level shear will, should support a mix of multi-cells and supercells capable of producing large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes through Tuesday evening. So, essentially, the Euro and GFS model runs have it going in different directions. The European model has it more to the south. GFS has it more to the north. 
Well, we're going to have to wait and see uh, which way it's, those models are going to go. If one caves to the other or if they both meet in the middle. Uh, and, so, yeah, we have a few days to wait for that. So I'll update you guys as, as the situation develops. Day 6, which is Wednesday, from the South Central Plains into Lower, lower Mid Mississippi Valley. A large differences exist in the model guidance by day 6 Wednesday with the placement of the upper trough low ejecting across the plains. The slower, uh, more southern solution offered by the Euro uh, and its uh, ensemble means suggest a substantial severe threat exists along the east uh, part of the dry line from Kansas, Oklahoma to Texas, extending eastward into parts of the mid, uh, lower to mid Mississippi Valley. Strong deep uh, level shear combined with the moderate uh, to strong instability would support supercells with all severe th uh, threats possible, including tornadoes. The faster, more northern solution indicated by the GFS would shift the greatest severe threat a bit further east across the lower to mid Mississippi Valley through the day. The solution offered by the Euro has been favored with this outlook, as it has uh, as it's had run to run consistency with a strong ensemble support. Have therefore expanded to 15% severe area uh, to include more of the central plains in the lower mid uh, to mid Mississippi Valley. If the uh, model agreement increases, then uh, and then greater greater severe probabilities will likely need to be uh, introduced. An organized severe threat, including the potential for tornadoes, may continue Wednesday evening uh, and slash night across the lower Mississippi Valley and mid South regions as the southerly low low level jet strengthens, enhancing. The low-level shear and the presence of the sufficient boundary layer instability to support the surface-based thunderstorms. Now, essentially, for the day six, we could be seeing a 30% risk in the next day or two at this point. That's essentially what it means. If you look back on the map, there's either a 15% or 30%. The 30% is that orange area. That's basically the equivalent of an enhanced risk. The 15% you see in all three of these, that's equivalent to a slight risk. And the euro seems to be more consistent for a stronger trending uh, area right there so yeah we'll have to wait and see what goes on at this point but if these models hold and they increase the strength then we could see an enhanced risk uh, by uh, by monday at this point if not a moderate risk now i'm not saying there's going to be a moderate risk or anything i'm just saying there's a good risk of it that's just my own conjecture from what i'm reading right here the rest of it is on the nws website so this is the day seven thursday through the southeast so, this is basically, if you look at the Day 7 outlook right here, this is predictability too low. We're going to go ahead and read why this is, so let's get in, right into it. Depending on the evolution of the upper uh, trough over the central, con, uni, uni, con central United States, some severe threat may persist on Day 7 or Thursday across parts of the southeast. It is possible that convection may already be ongoing Thursday morning across portions of the lower Mississippi Valley. If rich low-level moisture can return northward ahead of this activity, then weak instability coupled with a favorable low-level and deep-level shear may also support a continued threat for, a few, or for organized severe thunderstorms through Thursday evening. At this time, the best chance appear, or for this appears to be over portions of the central Gulf of Coast states. However, given the considerable uncertainty regarding the evolution slash placement placement of the upper trough, and this is like this is uh, seven days out, so that's understandable. At this uh, extended time frame, and the potential for con a conventional uh, to outspace the low levels moisture return a 15 percent severe area does not appear to be warranted at this time this is seven days out so this is understandable predictability is too low on day seven and day eight so yeah the main thing we need to watch is a day six or for wednesday this is the main thing we need to watch right here this is the big area of interest i mean all these are area of interest right here but the day six outlook is the area of interest that we are looking at so yeah that's what i'm looking at the, poss the greatest possibility for a 30% risk at this time is on day 6, and I will update you guys as the situation develops. But until that time, that's really going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. It also helps more of the public and helps inform them about what's going on with the severe weather, as this stuff does not kid around. And if you see uh, threats like these, you know this is likely not going to be kidding around. But until that time, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed it. Most importantly, guys, stay safe.